What are you still mad about? My boss firing me from the job that I excelled at and loved because I didn't seem to be enjoying it enough. Not my fault that I was dealing with a lot of loss and pain last year and couldn't always be my happiest self. And now add to that unemployment. Still can't find the job despite a degree, loads of work experience, and good references almost a whole year later. My holographic chair is it. I was so excited when I got it and couldn't wait to show it off at school the next day. Then, about halfway through the day, it goes missing. I looked everywhere and I could not find it and was super bummed out. The very next day this kid Marcelo shows up with his own Cherizard, and even though I couldn't prove it was mine, I knew it was. The timing was just too convenient that I lost mine, and then he gets one. When I was in 5th grade, I was one of the tallest kids, and looked sort of out of shape. There was a kid that was maybe my size, but scrawnier and kept sucker punching me randomly in the halls. Little did he know I was actually very built. This time, I was having a bad day, and after he came at me I whipped around and clocked him square in the face. Principal found out and only I was in trouble after hearing the entire case. I went trick or treating in second grade and came home with a bunch of good candy. My parents refused to buy candy for Halloween because no one comes anyway. A while after I got home, a huge group of kids comes to our house. My mom takes my basket of candy and gives it out by the handful. By the time she was finished, there were only a few measly pieces left. My 7 year old heart was crushed and I sat on my couch in misery the whole night I've forgiven her obviously, but my blood boils a bit every time I think about it. That's just wrong. I took a math placement test in 7th grade and my score qualified me to skip 8th grade math and go straight to algebra. My teacher said she didn't think I could do it because my grades were not great. My grades sucked because I didn't do homework. I had high test scores. I told her I really wanted to take algebra and she pulled out an algebra book, opened it up to random page pointed at it and said can you do this? Obviously I couldn't solve an algebra equation that I hadn't learned and she says see, you're not ready. In third grade some neighbor spread a rumor I brought a BB gun to school. Back then my mom packed my backpack and dropped me off. They suspended me three days with absolute zero proof that I actually brought one. My mom raised absolute hell, but she couldn't do anything. My mom is 5 feet 4 inches and the vice principal was 6 feet 3 inches, and that day I'm pretty sure my mom would have kicked his ass. I'm still pissed that they suspended me when they had absolutely zero proof. My mom let her husband, my stepdad, give away our PlayStation, the original. This was a while back to his friend from high school. They hadn't seen each other in years I guess, and while he was visiting he made a comment like oh you got the PlayStation. Man I need to get me one of those. And my stepdad jokingly said I would let you have it, but my wife would never let me to do that haha, <laughs> and for some stupid fucking reason my mom says oh it's okay he can have it. I could see my weekend entertainment washing away down the drain right in front of my eyes 20 years later, and my mom switches back and forth between not remembering it ever happening and I honestly don't know why I did it. She was never that generous and this was a guy who we had never seen before and never saw again, so it is still baffling to me. She did buy me one of those small sewn redescent several years later when they were around $40 at Walmart. I still have it unopened somewhere. I was working at a large nationwide retail store a few years back. My girlfriend, now wife, had brought me half a pizza so I could eat something. So I take it to the back, write my name real big on the box, and put it in the refrigerator. Two hours later I go on my lunch break, grab the box, and it feels a little off. I set it on a table and open it up. Empty. Some jackass ate all four slices of pizza and put the empty box back in the refrigerator. I'll never know who it was since the break room doesn't have cameras and there are so many employees that go in and out within the 2 hour window. I don't have the words for what I felt, but it was somewhere between just sobbing on the floor and rage. I was so happy that my so thought of me enough to bring me food. 
and was really looking forward to it because I almost never ate at work. Only to get in there and open an empty box. Frick you fellow large nationwide retail store employee. Christmas day when I was 8 yo I rode my brand new scooter to grandma's to show my uncle and left it in the front yard. I came out with my uncle less than 5 minutes later and someone stole that mathafrika. When I was 19 and my sister was 16 my parents bought sister her first car. They said it wasn't truly hers, but when either of us weren't working they always asked her permission to borrow it. That car eventually was passed to me when they gave her second car. This car was a gift from one of my father's coworkers. The man told him it was for his daughter, since the guy worked with my dad, since my mom was pregnant with her. When I pointed out that my sister already had a car it made since to give it to me. My father explained that since the guy didn't know I existed, the car had to go to my sister. Makes no sense to me, but I'm not about to argue with my dad. So, I asked that if when I ready to get my own car could they help me out. He agreed. Time comes when I've been working a while and the piece of crap I'd gotten from my C's is on its last legs. I did some shopping around and found something. I asked if they could help as they'd promised. I kid you not, my sister called a family meeting and convinced my parents that they shouldn't help me out because I had a job. They of course agreed with her. I'm in my 50s still bitter. Thanks C's. I was at a skating competition about 4 hours away. I came home and found out my aunt had given my cats away to the SBCA and left before I came home, so I couldn't confront her about it. Freeze you aunt K. If she's old enough you might get a chance to piss on her grave on a foggy autumn morning. Like, 6 years ago I was on vacation and had my oldest cousin pet sit my cats. We were only on vacay for 2 weeks. When we came back, she clearly didn't go in the house. The food and water bowls were completely empty, the litter boxes weren't cleaned, etc. And when I confronted her about it, her response, oh, I forgot, it's not that big of a deal anyway. I now understand it's not petty in the freaking slightest. When I was at university my sister's school had a fundraising thing where they accepted donations for them to sell off in a car boot sale. My mum gave away my entire book collection without letting me know. This included a book that my granddad gave to me when I turned 15 where he wishes me the best, a couple from teachers after I left their class and a few that I exchanged with friends. When I graduated secondary school, we gave each other a copy of some of our favorite books, I know I'm a nerd, I only found out months later with no way to track them down. Being the only second grade class in the history of my school to miss out in the annual apple picking trip, all because a group of boys had been consistently acting out for a while. The teachers believed the best way to punish them was to pull the field trip from everyone. Of course, the boys didn't learn anything from it, and I was left quite bitter. I graduated in 2008, in the middle of that recession. There were no jobs available because I was magically overqualified with my college degree and underqualified with no experience. I got one interview and I was perfect for the job, but the employer said that I live too far away. The commute would have been an hour and 10 minutes, but I was willing to move because I had just finished school and there was nothing keeping me in my college town. The interviewer just kept shaking his head saying that's too far of a drive. Dude, f***ing listen to me. It would have been an awesome job. So back when I was in kindergarten my class has a huge snitch. We were doing arts and crafts and I ended up getting her as a partner. She said my name. And when I turned around the string I was holding ended up hitting her in the arm. A string. And she cried. And told the teacher. Had to move my clip down. And my parents kept telling me don't hit people. After all that I still hate her. We had a classroom pet lizard in the third grade. I went to the pencil sharpener during class and noticed that it had been frightened and attached its tail. Something we learned about lizards when they brought it into the classroom. I loudly gasped when I saw it and received after school detention for disrupting the class. I was an 8 year old that was punished for seeing something scary to me. Still angry. 
join the discord for absolutely nothing. Link in description.